Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Karma just came kicking down ESPN and the NFL's front door after weeks of trashing Trump. ESPN and the NFL have spent weeks trashing President Trump. They just keep doubling down on their attacks on him rather than cleaning up their own house. Even with threats of fines, the NFL still has players kneeling during the national anthem. And ESPN is now saying they won't show the national anthem in games they air this year. President Trump has had it with this nonsense and so has America. Last week, President Trump urged his supporters to sign a petition to pressure ESPN to show the national anthem during Monday night football broadcasts. I wholeheartedly support that move. If I am going to watch a football game, I want to see who kneels and disrespects the national anthem, America, our police, military and first responders. That way I can just turn it off and walk away if I see any of them take a knee or raise a fist. Naturally, the left is calling this bullying by President Trump. It's no such thing and there are a ton of sports fans out there that think this is a great idea. They aren't being forced to sign anything but they are being given a chance to have their voices heard over at ESPN and the NFL. Trump sent out an email on behalf of the Trump Make America Great Again committee and called the network's announcement last week a spineless surrender to the politically correct liberal mob. He put it perfectly. Just after we heard a sitting governor trash America, ESPN has now decided it will no longer play the national anthem before Monday Night Football, the email read. If America is too offensive for anyone in our country, then what are they doing in America? That's a very astute question and Americans want an answer to it. The email seems to be referencing New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's remark earlier this month during a bill signing, in which he declared, we're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. Shortly after Cuomo stepped in it he tried to walk those comments back by saying the governor believes America is great and that her full greatness will be fully realized when every man, woman, and child has full equality. The Trump email ended off by stating, I was the first person to sign this petition. Now I need you to follow my lead and be the second. I think the petition is a great idea and that President Trump handled it just right." Jimmy Pitaro, ESPN's president, told reporters during ESPN's annual football media day that the national anthem would not be shown. He then contradicted himself by following that with, there could be changes. Do tell. Would those changes happen if the bleachers are empty? One wonders. Or maybe those changes will happen when most Americans turn off ESPN. We'll see. It's somewhat unpredictable what's going to happen in the world but as of now our plan now is to not broadcast the anthem. We have communicated that back to the NFL," Pitaro said. They have not asked but we proactively just as a courtesy and as good partners let them know what our plans are. Embrace change Pitaro because if you don't, ESPN is going to accelerate down the drain. Karma is kicking down ESPN's and the NFL's doors these days. Trump has been at the center of the national anthem controversy since the beginning when San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick took a knee and started this whole mess in 2016. He claimed to be protesting police brutality but that doesn't even make sense in regards to the national anthem. Hatred of America and all she stands for, as well as the police and military, does make sense, however. Trump took the stage at a rally in West Virginia last week calling ESPN's decision terrible. While the players are kneeling. You're all proudly standing for our national anthem," Trump told the crowd who roared their approval. The NFL announced back in May that teams and league personnel who do not stand and show respect for the flag and the anthem would be fined. However, they put that policy on hold as the league and its players' association negotiated the strategy. Meanwhile, the kneeling continues. ESPN did not air the national anthem during last season's Monday Night Football broadcasts. They took a similar approach to the one CBS has taken in the past. They plan to do the same thing this season, according to USA Today Sports. Fox plans to only show the anthem during special broadcasts such as Veterans Day or Thanksgiving and during the playoffs, while NBC Sports broadcasts plans are still undetermined. I don't agree with any of them. I think the national anthem should be proudly shown and that we should see who is kneeling and who isn't. I think President Trump agrees with me and so does most of America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.